Movie fans across this country are startled tonight by word of the sudden death of a major force in the motion picture industry for over a generation in this country. John Hughes made a lot of movies about kids that appealed to kids and then some. From planes and trains to vacation to Ferris Bueller to Home Alone, he made some icons in his time. Tonight, NBC's George Lewis has a look back. He was the guy who had movie audiences roaring at films such as Home Alone. Bueller. Bueller. And Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You realize if we played by the rules right now, we'd be in gym? John Wilden Hughes Jr. was born in Michigan in 1950. He was proud of being a self-made man who began his career in Chicago writing advertising copy. Chicago became the setting for many of his pictures. Anything is peaceful from 1,353 feet. A brain. A beauty. In 1985, he won critical praise for the movie The Breakfast Club, a look into the psyche of teenagers. I think one of the mistakes that it's commonly made in uh, Hollywood uh, teenage pictures is that it's just they're going for they're going for the bucks. And he helped launch the careers of several young actors, later known as the Brat Pack. They included Molly Ringwald and Ali Sheedy. My God, are we going to be like our parents? Not me. It's unavoidable. It just happens. What happens? When you grow up, your heart dies. When you get older, you can't be that sensitive. You, that that you, your skin gets a little thicker, and you have more responsibilities, and uh, you know, the world starts to, to press in on you. John Hughes spoke to a whole generation. He didn't talk down to them. He seemed to get it. John Hughes, a man whose work focused on youth, was only 59 when he died. George Lewis, NBC News, Los Angeles.